finding all sorts of really cool things here in the Autometer booth at PRI. Right now I've got Mark Erickson, and we're going to talk about one more really cool product. Yes, we've had our data acquisition system out for a couple of years now, and we now added a feature where you can actually overlay the video, or excuse me, the data acquisition with video. Uh, we offer a system where you can do three to four cameras, uh, a sealed unit, so you could actually put it on any type of environment that you wanted to. So tell me some of the applications this would be good for. Uh, we have it in drag racing, drifting, but we can put it on pretty much any motorsport application. So what are the guys going to actually be filming then that they want to get the data acquisition from and be able to see at the same time? Well, you can put it on the driver to see exactly when the driver's letting off the brake or putting it on, uh, on the gas. You can also put it on suspension parts to see the movement on the suspension parts. Anything that you want to look at, we can put a camera there. All right, so what are you finding that the guys are using it for most? Or, you know, which guys? Give me like an example of somebody using it. Well, we have a drifting team that's using it. They're looking mostly at the driver to see what the driver's doing and the suspension parts because they want to know exactly what's going on underneath the car while, while he's drifting. We also have it in a couple drag racing applications. We're looking at rear shocks to see what the shocks are doing. And we're also looking at the driver so the driver can judge the finish line better, see what he's actually doing in the vehicle. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about how the data is going to actually graph out and how you can overlay that with the videos and utilize it. Well, like on a, a shock sensor, because the suspension is the big part, is you can actually see what the shock is actually doing, the tires doing, and then you can actually say, okay, how much, when you look at a shock doing something, you know it's doing something, but you don't know how far it's moving. So you can actually look at the data and say, okay, at this point it's moved a, a quarter of an inch or four hundredths of an inch, and look what the tire's doing, or look what is the rear end in the car square while it's doing it. And you can slow this video and the graph down enough to be able to see it um, yeah. instead of going full speed. Yes, you can uh, slow it down to a hundredth of a second to look at it. Yeah. So tell me about a boat application then. So this is completely sealed. You can throw this on a boat. Yes, we've actually had a video of offshore guys uh, over the over the shoulder looking at and running down. and They just want to see where their mark's at, where they're hitting the turns, what they're doing. So it's, it's definitely better for the driver. I use it in my application. I've learned a lot from it. Well, then tell me about your application then. How are you using it? We I race Super Gas, which is an index class, which you have to judge the finish line. So when I turn my head, I want to know when I turn my head, when I finally pick the guy up. Uh, just, it's better for yourself. You know, you, you can't lie to yourself when you actually have video to back it up. I was going to say, when you pick the guy up, what does this mean? You're, ra you're, you're winning all the time? No, no. I, unfortunately, I have one of the slower cars in the class that I race, so I have to look over my shoulder while I'm driving down the track to try to see what the other guy's doing. So I actually can judge myself, okay, there are certain races that you go to that you only want to look at them at 1,000 feet, so I can actually look on the video to see exactly when I move my head. So this is a nice advantage for a racer like you. When you're at a disadvantage, you kind of have this to give you a little bit more of an edge. You got it, yep. Awesome, well thank you so much. I'm learning a lot over here at Autometer, and if you guys want to get a hold of any of this stuff, make sure you check out autometer.com.